You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. I want to talk about Adam Newman and Sharon Newman and whether Adam is going to wreck Sharon and Chance's fledgling romance very soon. And we have some specific spoilers and some reasons that we are wondering if it's going to happen like this. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, news, and more. So on Monday, you're going to see Sharon and Chance doing the deed at her coffee shop. And it seems pretty random. They went from first kiss to friends with benefits very fast when they had not been kissing or in any kind of serious relationship to date. It just seems random. But maybe this impossible incident is a red flag that Sharon and Chance aren't going to last. Many Young and the Restless fans were looking at Chance and Summer kicking off in the wake of her marriage crashing and burning. And really, that could still happen because Sharon and Chance may just be a stop on the road to a Chance and Summer romance and a Sharon and Adam renewed romance. And here's why we are wondering if that's what's going to happen. Monday, July 17th, while Sharon and Chance are banging on the sofa in the back room at Crimson Lights, Adam is getting his butt chewed by Daddy Victor Newman. So Victor is going to backtrack on his promise of autonomy for Adam's new company away from Newman. Uh, The mustache reverses this all and says that Adustus, as Adam has now renamed it, is going to be a Newman subsidiary. And Adam is understandably furious when Victor says this because he was in charge of a Newman subsidiary before, a very similar company that was Newman Media. And Victoria just couldn't stop it. She meddled and she screwed him over and now she is screwed neck over. And Adam knows if this new company that Victor gave him ends up under the Newman umbrella that Vicky's going to do the same thing again. And his brother Nick absolutely agrees with him on this point that Victoria is out of control. I mean, why, why would he put himself in that position again? So that same conversation earlier between, there was this conversation earlier between Nick and Adam before they went over for the family meeting and Nick was telling Adam, stay away from Sharon. Why would they bring that up unless Adam was about to be around Sharon? They were talking about this company merging and Nick's like, Nick's like, stay away from Sharon. And Adam's like, are you the Sharon police? And then he's like, oh, and stay away from Sally. It's like, okay, maybe Nick should just give Adam a list of people he's allowed to talk to, right? Ugh, Nick. All right. <laughs> I love Nick. He is some serious eye candy, but he's such a frustrating character sometime. And so sure enough, after Adam walks out on Victor's big pronouncement and his backtracking and basically lying to Adam, Adam has just had enough and he beelines to Crimson Lights. He's also been texting and calling Sharon while he's on the way, but she was busy knocking boots with the GCPD detective in, I don't know, it's her office. Is it a storeroom? Are they going to have coffee filters stuck to them randomly? It just seems so icky for the first time somebody does it. Okay. So Adam ignores the fact that she's not answering his texts and calls. He bangs on the door of Crimson Lights on Monday's episode until she answers. And he tells her he wants to come and run, I think it's called Cameron Inc. or Kirsten Inc., Cameron Kirsten's company that he left to Sharon. And he tells her all about what Victor did and says he's done. He's just done with the Newman stuff. And it seems very likely that Sharon is going to agree to let Adam come and run this company with her because she only suggested merging their companies so that she could keep an eye on Adam to make sure that grief didn't consume him. So this will accomplish the same thing if she lets him come come run this company with her. And so I think she's going to say yes. I'm sure Nick is going to have a fit and tell her not to. But can they work together? Can Sharon and Adam run a company together without crossing lines into getting more personal? Are we about to get a brand new version of this Shadam romance? A lot of people have been wanting it since 
he first came back with this Mark Grossman recast. And you may remember that at the time he did get briefly involved with Sharon. They even slept together. And then she was like, oh, no, no, you know, I'm going to be with Ray. And Ray was really mad and was like, stay away from Adam. And so she did. And then we've had them develop into this genuine friendship. They're very close right now. But it could turn into a lot more because Adam definitely cares about her. Nick Newman is going to hate this. He's going to butt in. And I think he's going to maybe try and come to that company with them. By Friday, July 21st, Victor turns around and hits Adam and Nick with an ultimatum. I'm sure it's like, come back to Newman, do what I said, or we're done. And I suspect that both the brothers are going to walk away because ultimatums are not the way to get through to either of these boys. If you give Nick an ultimatum, he just puffs up like a stubborn toad. If you give Adam an ultimatum, he will go and figure out what the exact opposite that you wanted him to do is, and he will do that and just burn down your world. So we are wondering who is Sharon's end game guy. All right. We're going to talk about that in just one second, but if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, news, and more. And if you enjoyed this video, please click a like. So is Chance her end game or does he fall by the wayside? And then is it Adam that she's meant to be with or does Adam fall by the wayside? And is it ultimately Nick in the end that is going to wind up with Sharon leaving Adam and Sally free to reunite. What do you guys think? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 